Hey guys, in this video, we'll be talking about two really powerful things in Figma, the community and the plugins. What is the community to begin with? Well, the community basically provides you a lot of access to community work that the community, that the Figma community is actually putting out there. So for example, in Sketch or XD, let's say you wanted to grab particular assets, you wanted to grab UI elements, you wanted to grab the iOS UI kit, you wanted to grab buttons, you wanted to grab a date component or a date picker component, you wanted to grab illustrations, what you would probably do there is you would go on Google, you would search, hey, sketch illustrations or sketch date component or something along those lines. Here, however, in the Figma community, you can actually grab all of those assets by remaining inside of Figma, and that's really powerful. And that's like a huge selling, selling point of Figma. So you can actually access the community by going into the plugins uh, drop down and saying browse plugins and community or you can actually just go on the home page and let's say if i'm actually on my figma screen i can actually just click the community button here and now i can see tons of design assets for example i can have the tutorial for the auto layout i can have a moon design system like i have so many awesome assets here i have some landing pages here as well some hero images for example, the material design UI kit. So I have all of these things at my disposal. I can just go ahead and duplicate them and start using them. As an example, if I, let's say, wanted to download some illustrations, I really like this shopping 3D illustrations or something along those lines. I just go ahead into the file and I just duplicate it. And it's that simple, nothing else. You just duplicate the file, you get the file on your end, and you can just see some of these assets and you can just start using them. So these assets are already created these assets are already created as components. I can just go ahead and I can, for example, make this particular file a design library and I can share it with my team and then we can easily drag those assets and use them however else we want. Obviously, one thing to point out that do go ahead and have a look at some of the license agreements. Obviously, some files may have a license agreement, but others that don't, uh, for the most part, may be just uh, fairly simple to use. But yeah, that's, that's just how powerful Figma is and the Figma community is. So for example, I can go ahead and let's say I wanted to search for a calendar component. I can search for a calendar. And as you can see, we have so many calendars available. For example, I really like this fantastical calendar or whatever it is. I can again go ahead and duplicate the file. And here I have the component in front of me. I mean, I don't have to go through a rigorous uh, exploration of Google and separate websites or anything. And then to figure out like, okay, I have to purchase them or maybe that's not the correct file or anything. In Figma, you basically have the Figma components, the Figma files directly in the community and it's easy just like that to access them. And that's like really powerful. And here you have the component, you can obviously drag it, copy it and then paste it in whatever file you want and here it is. And as you can see, these are already linked as components. I can go ahead and I can obviously change anything if I want, do whatever. So that's one really powerful thing of Figma that differentiates it from XD or Sketch. The other thing which may not be that huge of a differentiator, but it's still extremely powerful in all of those three applications is the plugins aspect. So what are plugins to begin with? Well, if you're a beginner, plugins basically extend the core functionality of that particular software and people from the community can create all of these powerful plugins. They can actually just just expand or extend the basic functionality or the base functionality of that particular software. So I'm gonna do a separate video, obviously detailing out all of the different plugins that I use and I th the ones that I think that are really powerful, but just if I have to give you a quick sample of what plugins are, or just give you a one particular plugin as an example, you can actually access the plugins by going to the plugins menu and saying browse plugins in the community. Similarly, if you go to your home tab and you're in the community menu, you can just click on community and you can click on the plugins here and you can see all of the top plugins. For example, Unsplash, Iconify, Material Design Icons, Lorem Ipsum, uh, Remove BG, Vectors, um, uh, so vectory 3d elements blobs i can say you just have tons of flexibility here if i wanted to give you an example of one of the top plugins here i can actually go ahead and I'm, let's say i have the unsplash plugin so for example i'm just going to go ahead and create two rectangles here and in my plugins tab i can basically access all of the plugins that i have installed by going to the plugins tab or i can just let's say search for a particular plugin i can just say command p and then search for it and here we have the plugins, uh, the plugin, that particular plugin open, and I can say I want to have abstract images. And for, let's say, I just select the frame that I want to apply, frame or rectangle or any object that I want to apply that particular 
image to and I just click on it and it's that simple. It's really that simple. You don't have to go ahead to unsplash. You don't have to download the image. You don't have to copy the image, paste it here. You just basically select the image that you want and you just you select the select the rectangle that you want or select the frame that you want that image applied on and just click it. It's that simple. And this is the power, this, this is basically the power of the community and the plugins. In the next video, we'll be talking about uh, some of the really powerful plugins, probably my top 10 favorite plugins of Figma. And uh, I'll talk about them. I'll talk uh, why they are important in your workflows. And I'll be detailing some of the really uh, pros and cons of those particular plugins, probably not cons, mostly pros. So do, do check that video out as well. Again, if you have any comments, if you want to know some, something else about the community or the plugins or anything else uh, in the department of Figma or let's say web design or web development even, do let me know. But other than that, I think that's going to be it for this video. Do subscribe and do hit the bell icon. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.